There we go. How's that? No, no. Way better than when I do it. <laughs> Way better than when you do it? Yeah. Well, it helps to have some help sometimes. So, uh, what do you think about your first adjustment here? Oh, it was good. It's good. Definitely um, similar to when I had adjustments before. I definitely want to start treatment over. Um, get something a little bit more regular. Yeah, start taking care of yourself. Yeah, because it really worked um, when I had done it before. Yeah. Um, definitely like posture and like, I felt a lot better. Um, so I'm definitely looking to, to keep it going. So I was looking at your chart and you're having some low back stiffness yeah. and just some general back tightness. Mm -hmm and left shoulder discomfort, is that right? Okay, so tell me a little bit about everything. Uh, so the lower back, uh, it only comes like days after I deadlift, and you'll see like left lower right here. Okay. Um, and like I've viewed video on my form and stuff like that, and I have a couple, I'm from Jersey. Yeah. Uh, so I have a friend who's a chiropractor as well, and I sent to him, he's like, okay. hey, nothing's wrong with your form. Yeah. Um, so he said maybe just an, an adjustment or a massage might, might help it out. Um, yeah. And then the shoulder, I've been doing that forever. Going okay. Where it kind of came from. It only, so if I'll do shoulders for the day, I'll have to like really warm it up. Um, left specifically. Okay. Um, and it's a little, it's not this motion, but more so like the... Coming the, out to the mm -hmm. side? Yeah. Okay. Let's talk a little bit more about both those. So with the shoulder coming out to the side, is that pain, is it a sharp pain or is it more dull, achy? It's like dull, achy. Okay. Yeah. And it's more on the inside than on the outside. Okay. So it's under here mm -hmm. as you come out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, is there anything that you can do that makes it like much worse than other, like certain exercises where you notice it most? Mm -hmm. Yeah, probably, probably like some lat raises, Lateral like depending raises. on like the, the, the pathway that it takes. Yeah. Um, then, then it'll be a little more uncomfortable. So I think any more, anything that's more outward. Yeah. Um, then that's supposed to. Then you feel it right in here. Yeah, right, right in here. Yeah. Okay. And then with the uh, low back pain and the what you're feeling over here, how does that feel? Is that dull and achy or is yeah, that more so sharp? Definitely dull and achy. So like, like right now, if I, if I were to stand up, it's, I don't know if it's gonna be if it's gonna ache or not when I get up. Okay. And that's never sharp, even when it first happened. Okay. Yeah, I don't feel pain like during a session. Yeah. Um, it's always like afterwards. Way after, yeah. Okay. So let's do this. What we're going to do is we're going to get an idea of just how well you're moving overall. Sure. And then we'll uh, go through and see how your spine, your hip, your shoulder, and everything are doing. Okay. Have you ever been to the chiropractor before? Yes. Okay. And how long has it been since you went? Uh, a couple of years. Okay. And do you years. feel like that usually helped when you were going? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah, I was going uh, for a couple of weeks. Yeah. Um, Probably like eight weeks or something like that. Um, like literally every week. Yeah. Uh, I definitely felt better. Good. Was there a specific injury or was that just for the shoulder and everything? I was for the back. Um, sometimes I used to get uh, heavy back spasms, like on my uh, kind of mid back at like the bottom of my lat. Like, yeah. Be hunched over for the whole day. Okay. Like, like couldn't come up. Yeah, I couldn't come up. It was so painful. Okay. But that definitely helped a bit. And then how long has it been since you had one of those episodes where you were all spasmed up? Probably since then. It's been a while, yeah, right? Yeah, I've done good like stretching, hydrating, and all that stuff. Uh, that was probably part of it. Okay. Um, and then the, the adjustments definitely helped. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so let's have you sit up nice and tall. And what I want to see is I want to bring both arms overhead as far as you can. Okay, so we're a little bit reduced in flexion on that side. And then go ahead and one at a time. So right arm overhead as far as you can, left arm overhead as far as you can. Okay. And then go ahead and come out like this. Go internal rotation. Okay, and then the other side. Okay, so we got better on that side. And then let's go external. Pretty good, not as good over here. Yeah. Okay, let's have you bring your chin under your chest as far as you can. Oh, you can relax your arms now. <laughs> and then go ahead and look up towards the ceiling back as far as you can. Okay, and then come back to the center. Tilt to the side, other side. Okay, turn and look over your left shoulder as far as you can. And then your right. Okay, so we're not turning very well to the left either. So maybe a little bit of rib cage stuff, maybe a little bit of lower neck involved in the shoulder there. And let's have you stand up for me. You're going to face towards the door. I want you to reach down, touch your toes. Is it painful just even in getting up? Yeah, right now I just felt it like pinch right now. Okay. Uh, you said just touch my toes. Yeah, just right reach down, down, touch your toes. You can bend your knees if you have to. Yeah. Okay. Now, does that make it worse back here? No. Okay. And come on back up. I want you to bend backwards. Does that make it worse? No. Okay. And then face towards me. And you're going to tilt to the side, other side. Anything make that worse? Okay. All right, let's have you go face down. Your face will go right here where the paper is, and then we'll see how your spine's doing. And you can just drop those arms up off the top. There's a little rest for them right there. Perfect. Okay. So when you feel that pain, is it here? Uh, probably further out to the side. A little bit higher yeah. and out. So you feel it more like in this area? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, gotcha. And then what about here? Does that give you any of it? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Popping already. Yeah, a little bit of tightness in this rib, rib cage area up here on the left. These ribs, when they're not moving right, it can make it hard for the shoulder blade to do what it needs to do in terms of moving as you go overhead and do certain movements. So we'll take a look at that and see if that's affecting the shoulder at all. A little bit of stiffness here too. Okay, now let's have you lay on your back. I wanna take a look at your actual hip joint. So let's pick this leg up. Now just bringing this up like this, does that give you any of the pinch? Okay, what about if we come across? Nothing. If I press there, nothing. Okay, relax the leg. Anything here? Uh, no, I mean, it's just tight. Yeah. Okay, and what about here? Okay. And let's pick that knee up one more time. Yeah, I'm gonna roll you a little bit. My hand's gonna go under your tailbone. Okay. Any pain here? Uh, it's pain, it's definitely discomfort. Discomfort. Does it feel similar to your yeah. issue? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I think you're a little bit irritated in the SI joint and a little bit in the glute tissue, which you kind of identified with the lacrosse ball. Okay. So we'll adjust the hip, we'll adjust your pelvis, we'll adjust your low back and everything and see if we can get some more motion there, get you feeling better, okay? And then for the shoulder, let's have you sit up and face this way. Okay. The little statue? Yeah. yeah my brother got that for me. When I graduated, he, uh, we were at my graduation lunch and he's like, hey, stand against the wall real quick. I wanna get a photo of you. And he gets real close to my face. And I was like, what are you doing? I was like, what is this about? And he's like, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So then I had forgotten about it. And at Christmas, yeah. I opened that. He's like, you remember when I was taking those weird pictures of you? I was like, yeah. He's like, I sent it to get a bobblehead made. So, yeah, a little tight. Okay, let's put this hand on your ear. Yeah, and now relax everything. Good. One more. Nice and loose, okay? A little bit. Let's try this. Put that hand right above your waist, a little higher. Good. Okay. Now relax your elbow. I'm going to pull it towards me. And now I want you to pull backward. Harder, 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 harder. A little bit. Okay. That one's tough. Lift back on your back again. Good. Scoot down just a little bit. And I want you to scoot over just a little bit. There we go. Okay. Put this hand on the back of your neck. Good. And we're going to go over and scoot this way now. Good. Okay. Good, let everything relax now. You can relax your hand too. Perfect. Okay. Deep breath in, exhale, let it all go. Okay, a little bit tough. Okay, now do you have any of it if we go here into your armpit? So relax the shoulder a little bit and relax the arm. Good. Does that feel like similar to the pain or different? Definitely. Different, okay. What if we come out? Similar. Similar? What about here? Definitely tight through this chest for sure.
Okay. A little bit. What about right yeah. here? Yeah, definitely. And there? there? Mm -hmm. Okay. There too? Mm-hmm. Okay. Relax this. So that feels similar to how it feels when you're... Yeah. Yeah. So this is that real kind of outside pec fiber. Okay. Coming over and then relax the whole shoulder. Yeah. Are you getting any massages or anything? No? no. How many days a week are you in the gym? Four. Four days a week? Five, okay. Yeah. You doing like a bunch of powerlifting type movements and stuff? No. No? Once upon a time. Okay. Recently. So you're a big guy. So we got to work a little bit on our mobility, especially through these tissues in your chest, okay? Because this pack is just super tight, and that's mostly what's going on with the shoulder here. So we're going to work on this a little bit to open it up here. But this is one that'll be good. I'll show you how to use a lacrosse ball mm -hmm. to foam roll your chest, okay. and that'll start to help you out a lot too. And I'll show you a drill that you can do. Okay. Because this feels like it's mostly muscular. Doing okay? Yeah. Safe word is pineapples. <laughs> Good. Yeah, all through there, you feel that, yeah. right? Yeah. This has been going on a long time, you said? Yeah. Yeah. So we definitely need to get you doing some shoulder mobility work okay. to open this up. And we'll get you doing some self foam rolling. Okay. That'll help a ton, okay? Okay, and then let's take a look at this hip here. So, yeah. I'm gonna give you a little pull. Keep this leg as loose and relaxed as you can, okay? One more. Good. A little better. And then let's have you lay on your side. You'll face me over here. Face you? Yeah. Your head's gonna go right there. Perfect. Your bottom leg will be straight. And scoot your hip back just a bit right there. Top knee's gonna bend. Good. This arm is going to go like that and here. Okay. Nice and easy, okay? I'm going to roll you a little bit. Good. Nice and easy. Perfect. Okay. So I know you felt that. How we get that to slide. So. That'll help calm that down a little bit. Let's go to the other side. We'll do your, more of your low back on that side. Yeah. So that'll help move that SI joint, which will help take some of the pressure off the hip. And then bottom leg straight. Good. Top leg bent. Okay. This one's going to be similar, but a little different. So we're going to go here. Good. This one I'm going to give you more of kind of a twist. Okay. I'm going to twist you. Good. And you're a big guy, so I'm going to kind of climb on you, okay? Here we go. Popping already. Breathe in. Out. Good. Belly loose. Let your shoulder go backward. There you go. Perfect. Okay. How'd that feel? Yeah, that's good. Good. Okay. Let's have you go face down again. Okay. Are we still having that right in here? Less of it? Yeah. Okay. We'll work on this muscle a little bit. Okay. So does that 
feel like it right there? Mm -hmm. Okay. Try and let your leg relax as much as you can. Yeah. Is that okay or is that too much? No, it's okay. Okay. Right through here too, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> And this happened, it was two weeks ago? Yeah. Yeah. What about there? Uh, not, as Not as bad? Okay. But if we come up here? Yeah. Okay. Right through here too, huh? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we got that to loosen up a little bit for us. And then we're gonna come through here. Deep breath in, out. Good. Doing okay? Yeah. All right, one more. Out. Perfect. Okay. I'm gonna give your head a little turn. We're gonna go right here. One more. Okay, a little tight there. Let's try one more this way. Deep breath in, out. There we go. Okay. Good. That okay? <laughs> There we go. How's that? No, no. Way better than when I do it. <laughs> Way better than when you do it? Yeah. Well, it helps to have some help sometimes. <laughs> Let's have you lay on your back. We'll finish up your neck. And then we'll basically be all set. I'm going to show you those drills, and we'll kind of go from there. Ball. There it is. What do you think of that? <laughs> Good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do one more here, okay? We're going to go right here. Make sure your teeth are touching. Mm -hmm. Deep breath in. Out. Let it all go. Loose head. <clears throat> Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? yeah. What would you feel? Oh, man, it felt like all the way through, like down my chest all the way up. All the way down, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. 
Whenever you're ready, I'll help you up here. Cool. So let's have you have a seat right here. We'll check your neck range again, and then we'll go through some of those movements. So how are we feeling? Yeah, that's good. Let's bring your chin down to your chest. Good. Look up to the ceiling. Good. Look over your left shoulder and your right. And how's that feel compared to before? Uh, that's like a gap further. Yeah. And then let's have you go both arms overhead. A little bit more even still, kind of a little bit less there. And let's have you go internal, external, a little better. So we're gonna need to work on that at home for sure because you got so much tightness going on. Okay. We're gonna get you doing some mobility drills, get you doing some tissue work to help that at home. And then let's have you go from seated to standing, see how that hip pain feels. Okay. Gone? Yeah, it didn't feel anything. Good. And let's go toe touch. Good. And then come on back up, bend backwards. And how's that feel? Backwards as far as you can. Good. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, what do you think about your first adjustment here? Oh, it was good. It's good. Definitely um, similar to when I had adjustments before. I definitely want to start treatment over, um, get something a little bit more regular. Yeah. Start taking care of yourself. Yeah, because it really worked um, when I had done it before. Yeah. Um, definitely like posture, and like I felt a lot better. Um, so I'm definitely looking to, to keep it going. Yeah, well, I'd be happy to be your new chiropractor. A lot of times patients find that if they're a little bit more consistent, even if it's just for a short while and then we taper you down, mm -hmm. that that consistency, especially up front, helps you feel better and stay feeling better. Helps you be more active in the gym with less pain. And then over time, what we'll be looking to do is taper you down to something that works for you, maybe like once a month, twice a month, just to keep you feeling good. Yeah. Um, but yeah, probably in the beginning, we'll start with maybe like once a week for a couple of weeks, and then we'll taper you down based on how you're feeling. Yeah, that's, that's literally what I did before. Yeah. Uh,